Today is the 15th annual Give to the Max Day in Minnesota. For charities, schools, and nonprofits across the state, it's the perfect time to get a boost in funding. KIMT News Series Max Haslow spoke with one local nonprofit about the campaign. He's joining us live from the United Way of Olmstead County in Rochester. Max. Well, that's right, Jess, and United Way is one of thousands of organizations benefiting greatly from this Give to the Max campaign. Uh, because of the funds raised today, they will be able to support their partner organizations, uh, keep some programs open for families with low income, and a lot of other community resources that are gravely necessary. Now, according to the United Way, economic factors like inflation have led to charitable gifts falling in recent years. However, Give to the Max Day says it's been able to raise tens of million dollars each year for thousands of organizations, many of which are based in southeast Rochester, southeast Minnesota. Now, the vice president of resource development for United Way in Olmsted County tells me the time before the holidays is often the best time to make any gifts to charity. There's more need for food. There's more need for gifts. There, your, you know, your rent is coming due. You have a lot of these kind of needs piling up. But then also, it's really a great time for the donor as well. It's the spirit of giving back. It's the holiday season, and then we can't forget that it's also a tax deductible. So, giving before December 31st, you also have those tax benefits as well. Now, there are about seven hours left for Give to the Max Day, and according to GiveMN.org, the uh, organization that runs the event, they have raised about $25 million already today for over 5,800 charities. Now, that's about $9 million short of the record $34 million in 2021. Live in Rochester, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Max. That is a lot of numbers there. Well, if you're interested in making a gift through GiveMN, you can visit our website, kmt.com.